Hey, good afternoon, everyone. So just a couple minutes ago, I did say that as we head into the afternoon, we are going to be a little bit hotter than what we are currently seeing right now. And here's a closer look. So later on this afternoon in Brownsville, it's going to feel like 105, Harlingen 108, McAllen 107, and Rio Grande City 111 under mostly clear skies. But remember, we still have those hazy conditions out there. And that's unfortunately going to continue these next couple of days. However, what's a little bit different today than yesterday in the last several Several days is our winds. Our winds are still coming in from the south southeast. That's not really going to change, but our winds are a little bit calmer today than yesterday. Winds are going to, or wind gusts rather, are going to be up to 20, possibly 25 miles per hour. And then as we head into tonight and into the overnight hours, winds will remain relatively calm, and that's going to be the same story for tomorrow. However, for the weekend, those winds will start to pick back up, and you can expect slightly hotter conditions just because the winds are going to be bringing in that warm Gulf moisture, which is what's been happening these last couple of days. And speaking of dry and hot conditions, this is our newest drop monitor. We just got a new one this morning. Now, not much has changed, which was expected. However, if you do notice and if you do want to be particular, the yellow shading did move a little bit further north to include some more areas just along the coast. But for us here in the Rio Grande Valley, still the same dry to moderate conditions. However, as we head into the following work week, those drought conditions could potentially get a little bit worse because we're not expecting any rain chances. However, there are rain chances in the forecast, but we are going to see them be a little bit on the lower end. So here's a bigger picture on what you can expect these next seven days. So remember, less breezy conditions for today and then tomorrow. Conditions are still going to be hot. We could have temperatures in the low 90s, but then as we head into the weekend, conditions unfortunately are going to be a little bit muggy, a little bit unpleasant. So we could have more heat alerts in place, especially on Sunday. However, on Monday, we are going to have a cold front, a weak cold front, enter the valley and going into Tuesday, that cold front could potentially stall out within the region, and that weak cold front could bring us some low rain chances, but I'm talking about possibly 10 to 20 percent, and the, low, the weak cold front could also drop our temperatures just by a couple degrees, so instead of being in the low 100s, we can only reach the upper 90s, but remember, we're still going to have kind of muggy conditions since it's not a strong cold front, so we still have to factor in the humidity, so the feel like temperatures could be a a little bit higher than that, even though those humidity values are not going to be as mm -hmm. high as we've been seeing these last couple of days.